Hi, welcome to Data Structures in 5 Minutes, and this is the 10th video. And today I'll be talking about merge sort um, in continuation of our sorting unit. And you can merge, and the key observation for merge sort is that you can merge two sorted lists in, in linear time. And how you do that is you choose each element one by one and do a comparison for each one. So merge sort is also a comparison-based sort where you compare two items at a time. And so the number of merges is hidden in the O, o and log n runtime, which is the average and worst case runtime for merge sort. So merge sort is one of the fastest comparison-based sorts, along with heap sort and quick sort, because n log n is the theoretical boundary for comparison sort algorithms. So I'll be walking through an example of merge sort. What you want to do for merge sort is divide and conquer. So by divide, you want to uh, divide each each list in half, and then once you hit the base case, then you can sort. And you want to sort each half recursively. And so you can rely on the fact that this runs in O of n log n, and two sorted lists run um, can be merged together in linear time. So let's get started. You have the first half here, 6, 5, 3a, and 1, keeping this notation from the repeating and 8, 7, 2, 4, 3. <laughs> Divide this in half again. You have 6, 5, 3, A, 1, 8, 7, 2, 4, and 3. And remember, we're keeping or trying to make the promise that we sort this recursively and can maintain this of and log in time. So we get 6, 5, 3, 8, 1, 8, 7. Now here, we have an odd number, so we have to do one more um, level of recursion, which is okay because um, this is just a constant. So I'm not going to bother writing this here. I'm just going to split this up here. 4 and a 3. Good. So this is how um, the list will be divided into each individual part. And you can see here that these two are sorted by virtue of being just one, um, one element lists. And so we can easily sort them, to sort them together, I mean merge them together, and um, here's what we get. So you merge the 5 and the 6 to get um, 5, 6. Here, 301 and 3b, and I'll just keep going, um, 7, 8, and 2, um, so I should do this first, 3, 4, and then 3, 4 merges with 2 to form 2, 3, 4, good, and so then next, you can just um, merge these two, and we'll, I'll walk over the merge algorithm really quickly. So you look at the first element of each list, and you choose the one that's smallest. So here's one. Then you cross that out and compare this, um, the first one here, which is now 3b, with the first one here, which is still 5. This crosses out. And then once you're done, once you're left with an empty list, you just append the rest here. That's how merge works. Similar process here. Uh, and it works out pretty well. And now we can merge these two lists, and we do so. Uh, sorry, this should be 3a, not 3b. This is 3b. So go here, and now after crossing these two out, you're faced with the same element here, uh, the same repeating element. And it's up to you which one you want to choose, but if you want your merge sort implementation to be stable, you have to be careful. And so I'd ch you'll have to choose this first, um, and then this, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Good. And so that is how merge sort works. And one more quick note about merge sort is that merge sort requires quite a bit of extra memory. And so while heap sort is better for arrays because you don't need that much more space and you can do it in place, merge sort is good for linked lists because your list nodes already occupy some of that 
memory, so you might as well use it. And so merge sort is good with linked lists, but if you're just dealing with arrays, heap sort and quick sort will be the better options. Will be better options. I'll talk about quick sort in the next video. One quick note is that the number of levels for merge sort is log base two of n plus one, um, the ceiling of that. Uh, that means you round up. And so in this case, one plus log base two of nine, the number of elements we have rounded up is equal to five. And you can see here that there are five uh, levels of recursion. And so this is the log n part of the runtime. And the n part of the runtime is the merging of two sorted lists.